95 degrees here today. I can't oh, believe it. I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> For real. It's February and it's 95 degrees. Oh. <laughs> I think I will take 95 every day. I hate the cold. Really? Um, I don't like 95. I take like 75 every day. Oh, yeah, 75 is be, better. Yeah, that would be perfect for me. Yeah. 95 is a little warm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to get started um, with some conjugations. Okay, so um, we'll start with the verb estegida. Who can tell me what estegida means? Well, that sounds familiar. We have it. Yeah. Stay with the... to, to look at? No, not to look at. The stake of the men know me a sa sabia sabahan. A go to? No. Or wake up? Wake up. Very good. Wake up. Look at this verb and see if you can tell me what you think the root letters are. If you wanted to look up this verb in a dictionary, what three letters would you look up? Trick question. <laughs> yeah, that's hard. I would say seen, ka, and da. It's a good guess. The, I don't know the names okay. of the letters. I just know the sounds. Yeah. <laughs> This is what we call, it's a form 10 verb. It's a form 10 verb. Um, all of the basic verbs that have three letters, three roots, and then you have different forms of those, those verbs. Okay. okay. And this is what, what's known as a form 10. And you know a form 10 by the addition of the first three letters, the aleph, seen, and ta. So there are a lot of a lot of verbs that have that, and it's called a form ten verb. So you'll actually look up this verb in the dictionary by looking up ya, cough, and va. Okay, so those actually are the three root letters. the The first three are extra, and it tells you what the form of that particular verb is. Okay, so take a minute, and I want you just to conjugate for. Um, Ana, enta, enti, hua, and hia. So do that right now. Does the aleph take the place of the i? Um, actually, it just changes. Good question. I was just going to about to say that. So it, instead of an i, um, it goes away and it takes the aleph with um, with the hamza on top with okay. a fata. But there's not an added Alice there. Gotcha. Refresh again. Oh. Oh, she just said the I think we're ready. You're ready? Okay. Kim, Kim knows better than me. A stake it good. A stake it What about enta? To stake it To stake it Very good. Enti? To stake it Good. To stake it in. To stake it Good. Who? Yes, stake it Yes, stake it Good. Yes, stake it So you just um, add a ya to the beginning. Get rid of that Aleph. And Hia? Tastekadu. Very good. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Okay, what do you think are the three root letters here? I'm just going to guess. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. Kim says lamb and then that. Oh, and then, and then the duh. Okay, no lamb here. No lamb. I mean the aleph. 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 Um, yeah. Actually here, um, again, this is a different form. So your actual root letters are the sheen, ha, and dal. That's how you would actually look it up in the dictionary. 
But when you get there, you'll find that this is a form three verb, a form three verb. We haven't used a dictionary yet. When you get a dictionary in front of you, it'll make more sense, okay? So the roots here are sheen, hat, and dab. And what does shahida mean? Shahida. To speak? Not to speak. Shahida. Ana ushahidu telfaz kulion. Watch. Watch. Very good. Okay. So shahida is he watched. So I want you to conjugate it in the present tense for Anna, Enta, Enti, Hua, and Hia. Do that right now. Yeah, it always ends in the who, right? Right? Mm -hmm. So, a shahidu? Um, actually, it's that's really close, but this time on the aleph, it's going to take um, an oo sound because it's a form three. Okay. Oo shahidu. Oo shahidu. Good. Enta? Ta shahidu. Tu shahidu. Tu shahidu. Uh huh. Tu shahidu. Enti? Tu shahidina. Tu shahidina. Very good. Huo? You shahidu. You shahidu. Good. And he up. Two shahidu. Two shahidu. Excellent. Okay. Um, the next verb is nama. Nama. Who remembers what nama means? Uh, sleep. To sleep. Very good. He slept. Okay. I want you to conjugate it for all of those persons again. And this is what we call actually a hollow verb, a hollow verb, because the middle radical here is an aleph, okay? And when you have a, a, a vowel as your middle radical, it becomes what we call a hollow verb, because sometimes this vowel changes. In this case, it doesn't um, when you're conjugating, but um, in some cases, um, when you have a weak letter in the middle, it will change to one of the other vowels. So that's something you have to be aware of when you're looking it up in a dictionary. Okay. But here the actual root letters are noon, aleph, and mean. Okay. So go Anamu. ahead and conjugate. Amu, good. And tell Tanamu. Very good. Tanamu. And T. And T. Tanamina. Good. Tanamina. Tanamina. Very good. Yanamu. Yanamu. Uh huh. And Hia? Tanamu. Tanamu. Very good. Okay, our next verb. Okay, you can see right off what the three root letters are. Rain, seen, and lamb. What does Rasala mean? Rasala. I don't know. Kim, do you remember Rasala? Yachsalu el Atwak. Wash. Wash. Very good. Rasala means wash. Okay. Okay. Um, conjugate it. Achsalu. Achsalu. Very good. And top. Taxalu. Very good. And T? Taxalina. Taxalina. Very good. Hua? Yaxalu. Yaxalu. And Hia? Taxalu. Taxalu. Excellent. Okay. Good job on those. Okay. We're going to um, step, go where we left off. With the, the drills last week. Okay. So um, in our first drill, we have student one and student two. Student one asks, Matha Satisnisu, 
what are you what will you sweep what will you sweep remember the sa in front of a present tense verb means that um it's future tense so matha sa taknisu what will you sweep sa aknisu gorfitel jaluks i will sweep the sitting room okay we'll start with um matt you'll be student 1 and kim you'll be student 2 um just go through all of the examples and then we'll we'll switch so you're going to start by asking what and then it gives you a verb and it gives you um something that you're you're doing okay so mother sa yap yav slu okay remember you're asking you and in this case you have um in all of these cases it'll be a male oh so you okay. have to change the verb yeah mother Tuxalu Sa Tuxalu Sa Tuxalu Mother Ya Mother Ya Tuxalu Sa Mother Sa Tuxalu Yes Mother Will you Sa Tuxalu Very good Mother Sa Tuxalu Kim And you want to say I will wash the clothing um I, I say it a solo um we remember you're gonna start it with the scene because it's you will do it okay so you add the scene and then you have to replace the first um letter here the ya with the letter aleph Okay. So satakselu. Saakselu. 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 Uh-huh. Saakselu. What? Um What are you washing? Um lavas. Elma Labas, very good. Elma Labasa. You'll notice that um, what you're washing has a feta on it. And the reason being is because it's in the accusative case because it's the direct object. It's what you're washing. So, Axilu, Elma Labasa. Okay, next one. Mala Sa Tak Tahui Tak. Tahui. So, Mala Sa Tahui. Tahui. What is Tahui exactly? Is it iron. Oh, it is iron. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, I knew he was ironing, but I thought it might be like, what are you doing? Or what uh, are you doing? Um, I saw the picture. Sa Taxalu? Sa. We need an Aleph here, not a Taxalu. Sa Aqui. Sa Aqui. We're on the next picture with the guy ironing. So, oh. sa akwi. Sa akwi. Um, el malabasa. Yeah, el malabasa. Very good. El malabasa. Okay, next one. Mada sa tusali. 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 Uh huh. Mada sa tusali. Mada sa tusali, Kim. Yeah, Kim. <laughs> um, You're adding that scene for a future time, and then you have to change so, the so, so, vowel to an Alice. So, 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 so,
فأصلي الفجر. Very good. سأصلي الفجر. I will pray the dawn prayer. Okay, next one. سا no mother. سا تكرو. Mother سا تكرو. Satakra'u. You have to change it for you. For I. You said ta. Oh, sa-akra'u. Akra'u, uh-huh. Sa-akra'u. Al-Fur. Al-Qur'an. Good, Al-Qur'an. Next one. Mala. Sa to Shahidu. Is it Sush? Sa U Shahidu. Uh huh. Sa U Shahidu. Sa U Shahidu. Al Tufaja. Al Tufaja. Very good. Mother. Sa. Tarsilu. 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 Asalu. Sa of Salu. Sa at Sa at Salu. Al Taba Al Adbaka Al Adbaka. Very good. Okay, we're gonna do it again, um, and we're gonna keep the same parts. Only this time, um, Matt, I want you to ask using the female you. Okay, so we'll pretend these are all females. All right, mother, sa. Tarsalina. Selina. Uh huh. Tarsalina. Tarsalina. And Kim, you're still the same. The Tarsalu. The Axalu. The Axalu. El Malabasa. Very good. El Malabasa. Good. Next one. Mother Sa Tahwina. Uh huh. Tahwina. You have to change it to who you're answering. So you want to Sa. How do you say I iron? A queen. Sa a queen. Sa a queen. Sa a queen. Amulabasa. Very good. Yeah. Mother. Sa. To Salina. To Salina. To Salina. To Salina. Yeah. Yeah. That mother. Satasalina. Sausalina. Sausali. 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 Uh, so, Mala Satakrina Takraina Satakraina Sa, okay, Mala Satakraina uh 
start with your sa. Sakra u. Sakra u. El Quran. Very good. El Quran. Next. Mada sa tushahdu tushahdina. Mada sa tushahdina. Sa usha Uh-huh. Sa usha Next one. Mother sa Selina. Sa at the Alice. Sa Sa very good so just to be clear uh -huh. to make it future uh -huh. you basically just say sa and then you conjugate it like normal exactly so the sa is added on to a present tense verb to make future tense there is another Just way to make to say future sorry. tense. You can add a word called sofa. Sofa. Sa, sod, wow, fa. Um, in front of, again, a present tense verb, but not connected to it. So, for instance, you could say sofa, yag, silu. He will wash. Okay. But when you say sofa, yag, silu, it means he will wash maybe a month from now. Okay. But if he's going to wash like immediately, it's sa yaksalu. Okay. Okay. So that's like close future. Okay. You seem to be getting confused about sa. Forget the sa. You just say sa at the beginning and then conjugate the word. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. We're going to go on to um, making sentences on the next page. We'll start with Kim. Read each. Um, a word from the first box and then the second box and make a sentence and then tell me what that sentence means. So stop after each one and tell me what it means. Start with ekra'u. Box number Yeah, she wants me to go first just so she knows what's going on. Okay. Akra'u Akrana. What? Good. Which word is Akra'u? You don't see that? Yeah. And then the second word, and the first word in the other column is Akurana. Okay. So, so Akra'u Akurana means. The first column and then the second one. Go ahead. I read the Quran. Good. I read the Quran. Very good. Next. Are you want me to do this whole box? Um, if you want. Go okay. Aknasu al Ghorfata. Mm Kim says, and I will accept it. I vacuum the room. Uh huh. I vacuum the room. Very good. Next. Good job, Kim. Uh, Ushahadu mm -hmm. al Tilfaza. Mm -hmm. 
Uh huh. Until Faza. Until Faza. I watch the television. Very good. Next. Akrau al Sahifata. Sahifata. Akrau Sahifata. I read the newspaper. Very good. I read the newspaper. Next. Aksalu al Malabisa. Mm -hmm. Boy, I wish I had paid attention when Kim was talking a minute ago. Uh, that is, I wash the dishes. Not the dishes. Oh, Malabasa. I wash the clothes. I wash the clothes. Very good. Okay, Kim, the next box. This time you have three lines. You're going to add a sa in front of each of these verbs to make them future tense. So start with the sa, and then add it to the verb, and then add the third column. Uh huh. And what does that mean? I read read the Quran. I will read. I will read the. Uh -huh. So the scene in front of a present tense verb makes it future tense. Okay, next one. Al Gorfata. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, well, Ekinesu And what does that mean? I will vacuum the room. Very good. Next one. Sa Ashahadu. Ushahadu. Ushahadu. Oh, Tulfaza. Uh huh. Tulfaza. What does that mean? I will watch TV or the uh -huh. TV. Very mm -hmm. good. Next. Sa Akru. Sa Akru. Sa Akru. Sa Akru. Asahipata. Good. What does that mean? Um, I will read the newspaper. Very good. And the last one. Salu. Um. Amalabasa. Good. So, Amalabasa. What does that mean? I will wash the clothes. Very good. Okay. Matt, box number three. Mada Tafal. Tafal. Mm -hmm. What? Tafal. I'm gonna memorize words. Uh, I don't know this one. Okay, tafalu is the word fa'ala. It means to do. So, mother tafalu, what are you doing? What are you doing? Mm-hmm. Mother tafalu. Mother tafalu. Tafa. 
Oh, yeah, tough. Oh, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Mother Tuck Tucknusu Tucknusu. What are you vacuuming? Uh huh. <laughs> That's a weird one. Okay. Um, uh, Mother Tushahidu. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you watching? Very good. Mother Tufalina. 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 What are you doing, female? Very good. Mother Tuknusina. Good. Which is what are you vacuuming, female? Good. Mala to Shahdina. Uh huh. What are you watching, female? Very good. Very good. Okay, Kim, box number four. You're going to make these questions future tense now. <clears throat> Mother, the tough mm -hmm. What are you? What will you be doing? Uh huh. Or what will you do? What will you do? Mother, Mother to second. Sa. 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 And then the vote. You said ta. Ma. Sa. Anusu. Mother? Mother, mother, sa technisu. Mother, sa technisu. Good. What are you vac? No. What will you vacuum? Very good. Mm -hmm. Next one. Mother. Mother Sa Tushahadu. Tushahadu. What will you watch? Very good. Mother Mother Sa Tafalina. Tafalina. What um are you doing female? What will you do? Female? What will you do? Uh-huh. Mother. Mother Sat Taknusina. Mm -hmm. What will you vacuum female? Mm -hmm. Mother Sa Tushahadina. What will you watch? Very good. Okay. Matt, box number four. Mata uh, Tadhibu. Tadhibu. Ila Amdrasati. Mata Tadhibu Ila Amdrasati. What's meta? Meta, I don't know. I should know, but I, uh, where or when? No, when, meta, when. When? Uh-huh. When are you going? When? Uh-huh, when are you going? To? Ila Al Madrasa. To the school. To the school, very good. And you'll notice that all of these, words in the fourth column 
all have Kestra on them. The reason they have Kestra on them is because they follow Ela, mm -hmm. and Ela is a preposition. So anything following a preposition takes Kestra. Okay, so that's why you have Kestra there. Keep going. Okay. Mata to the to Tazabu Mata Tazabu Ira Al Baitin Baiti. Mm -hmm. When are you going to the house? Very good. Mata Tazabu Ila Al Tabibi. When are you going to the doctor? Very good. Mata Tadhabu ila al masjidi. Masjidi? Masjidi. When are you going to the masjid? Uh huh. Mata tadhabu ila al muhandisi. When are you going to the engineer? Very good. That's a sentence you won't say much. Mata tadhabu ila al amu. When are you going to the uncle? To the uncle. To the uncle. Very good. Okay, Kim, box number six. Um, El Sa'a. Al-Wahida. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? I am going. What's al -tabu? I'm going. I am going. Uh huh. Doesn't that mean one o'clock? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh -huh. So I'm going at one o'clock. Uh -huh. Keep going. So there's no preposition at there? Um, you it's... don't need it there. No. Okay. So I'm going one o'clock. Mm hmm. Adhabu Asa'a al Asa'a Asa'a I'm going at two o'clock. Very good. Um, Ashabu Asa'a El Salasa. Asa'a. I am going at three o'clock. Good. Ashabu Asa'a El Rabia. Mm -hmm. I'm going at four o'clock. Good. Ashabu Asa'a. Alhamasa. Alhamasa. I am going at five o'clock. Good. As Habu Asa'a Al Sadsa. I'm going at six o'clock. Very good. Not box number seven. Too much. Uh Usali Al Fajra B Al Majjidi. I I'm going to pray. I'm praying. Uh-huh. I'm I'm praying the Fajr in the masjid. Very good. Akra'u al Qurana Bil Musali. Musala. 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 
I am reading the Quran in the prayer room. Musala? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Prayer room. Ushahidu al Tilfaza fil Ghorfati. I am watching the TV in the room. Good. Arsalu, 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 Al Atbaka, Atbaka. Say it again. Al Atbaka, Al Atbaka. Uh huh. Good. Feel mit mitbak. Mitbahi. 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 Uh huh. I am washing the dishes in the kitchen. Mm hmm. Good. Axlu. 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 I'm a labisa. Feel a hamami. Feel hamami. Hamami. Feel hamami. I am washing. The clothes in the bathroom? Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Okay, candle box number eight. Penta. Aina. Aina. Pisali. Alfajra. Alfajra. Mm -hmm. What's it asking? Aina to Sully El Fedra. What's Aina? Where? Where? Uh huh. To Sully. What's Fedra? Good morning. So, what's so is it where? It's too silly. Is it pray? Uh huh. Where do you pray? Where do you oh, pray? Fedra. The morning prayer. Good. Where do you pray? The morning prayer. And the Tusali El Fedra. Okay, next one. In a um, in a tuck for O El Quran. Mm -hmm. Good. What does that mean? Where do you read the Quran? Very good. And the last one? In a In a Taksalu Amalabasa. Mm Aina Taksin or Malabasa? You know Malabasa? No, I don't remember what any of this means. Okay, start with Aina. Where? Uh huh. Taksin. Rasala. What? Wash? Mm -hmm. Wash, uh huh. Where do you wash? El Malabasa. Your clothes. Uh huh. Not That's your okay. clothes. The clothing. Okay. Very good. Uh huh. Good. We'll skip the next page. Next couple of pages. Okay, go on to some, some more drills. Okay. So um, here we have, this is um, 
Scar's Salatha was Shreen. The Pedriva a Wahid El Ula. Okay, so we've got Aina to Sali al Juma Usali fil Masjid al Kabir. Wa Aina to Sali Anta Usali fil Masjid al Kabiri Aidan. So they're giving you um, a prayer time. Okay, so the first thing you see is the prayer time. And then um, they are giving you um, a, a location. Okay, and that's what both, both people will be using. Okay, so we'll start with um, Kim. You'll be student number one. And Matt, you'll be student number two. Do you get it? Um, in a, I guess. Ana Tusali. Ana Tusali. Al Fajra. Good. Usali. The Fajra. Usali. B. Mas. Al Masjidi. Masjidi. Uh. Umara. Omara. Omara. What's that mean? Um, it's just a name. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, oh, Waina to Sally Anta. Anti to you. Right. Yeah. Um, oh, Sally. Oh, Sally. You don't say Aina to Salina. Anti. Okay, so you have to change the verb. Say it again. Um, remember that if you're asking Kim, you're asking female, so you have to change the verb from to sully to to Selena. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, she mixed it up on me because I decided to talk <laughs> to you directly. Uh, so, Usa, <laughs> wa, ena, to Selena, anti. You understand what she did there? Yeah. Okay. That's what I get for being specific. Sully fee. Sully fee. This. Masjid. 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 Omar. Omar. And then you add Aiden. 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 What's Aiden mean? What's Aiden? Who remembers Aiden? Also. Also. Very good. So I pray at Masjid Omar also. Very good. So we're saying, where do you pray? I pray here. Where do you pray? I pray there too. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, do the next one. Yeah. Auntie. Aina. Aina. <laughs> Aina. Oh. Aina. Um, to Sully, um, oh, well, let me tell you, what's Zohara? It's another one of the prayers. Oh. Zohar is the, like, the early afternoon prayer, so it would be the second prayer of the day. It's right about 12 or 1 o'clock, somewhere in there. Okay. Usali Bil Masjidi Bilalim. Bil Masjidi Bilalim. Uh -huh. You don't say, yeah, Bil Masjidi. Yeah. You only say Phil. Okay, with that ill sound, when you have a, a word with alif lamb in front of it, 
Okay, so then it all runs together. If you don't, it's fi masjidi bilalin. So you have so, a distinct fi. But this would have an aleph, right? Aleph lamb. This one doesn't have an aleph lamb. Look at the, okay. the, the example. You'll notice el masjidi el kabiri. There you'll say usali fil masjidi el kabiri. But here you have usali fi masjidi bilalin. So there's a definite fi without that ill sound, fill, because so, the fill comes from the aleph lamb. So why do some masjids have an R, have al and some don't? I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get to that next week. We'll be uh, doing idafa, okay? And and there it's the difference between having an idafa, which is what you have here, versus um, a word, a noun, adjective, phrase that you have here. Okay, here you have an aleph lamb and an aleph lamb, but it's a noun and an adjective. Okay. 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 Sure. So that, that's why. All right. <laughs> that was just setting you up for next week. All yeah. right. Yeah, I totally forgot what we're doing too. Uh, so I'm done, I think. Yes. And now I say, Waina, to Sally. No, tu salina uh, and ti. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sali fi masjidi balali. Balalin. Aida. 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 Great. All right, next. You got it. You're right. Yeah. Aina Kusali Astray. Oh, Asura. Oh, Asura. Oh, Asura. Mm -hmm. Usali the Masjidi. Ush. Uthman. Uthman. It's a shah, not a shah. Uthman. 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 Sure enough. Uthman. Wa ina tu salina anti. Yeah, him. Usali um, be. Must you be with Mm-hmm. Good. Next one. Ena, Oh, grieve. Almakhlaba. Usali. Be masjidi. Alia. Alian. 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 Sure enough. Alian. Alian. Why na? To Salina, Hanti, Yakin. Usali be the fourth one yet. Um, Masjidi Alien. I then very good. Nice. Next one. Aina to Sully Al Alasha Al Isha Al Isha Usali Fi Masjidi Amarin 
Waina to Salina Auntie. Sali. You must be. Amaran Aidan. Good. Aina to Sali. Almas. Um, Say it again. Aina to Sully. Aljumata. 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 Or you can just say oh, Juma. Nobody says Juma. Juma. Huh? <laughs> Juma. Oh well, let me tell you. Usali fi majdi tarikan. 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 Wa ena Usalina anti. Sali, we must study Tarikin Island. Uh -huh, very good. Okay, we'll go on to the next question, guys. And here I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to look at the picture and you're going to answer the question. Okay, so we'll start with Matt. Matha, yes. I'm sorry. Say that again. Mada Yafalu Ahmadu. You just want to look at the picture and answer the question. Oh, so here's this is Ahmed. Gotcha. So Yafalu Ahmadu. What is he doing? What uh -huh. is Ahmadu doing? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh he is reading, so I would say Takrau. That's you. Uh, no, Yakrau. Yakrau. Yakrau al Quran. You can actually add his name too. You'd actually add his name after the verb. So you'd say Yakrau Ahmadu al Quran. Okay. Try that. Yeah. Yakra'u Ahmadu al Qurana. Very good. Okay, Kim. Mada Tafalu al Bin. She's saying, What is she no, doing? Is. You have to say, She is doing whatever she's doing. She is whatever. You start with the verb for whatever she's doing, conjugate. So you'd start with she is vacuuming. So So Yeah. And then the floor or the carpet, but I don't remember that. Or you could say the room because it's easy. Yeah, the sitting room. I follow what if it known? Well, how do we say she's back? What's the word for to vacuum? Uh, mm -hmm. No. It's Technosu. Technosu. Yeah. Uh huh. And then you want to put in the subject. So who is it that we're talking about? Albentu. Albentu. Good. Technosu. Albentu. What? 
Technosu, Albentu. You want to say the sitting room? El Gorfatanome. Okay, Gorfatanome would be the bedroom, but this is the sitting room. How do we say sitting room? Gorfat. Jalusi. Gorfat el Jalusi. Very good. Now, Gorfat el Jalusi. Okay, and Gorfat el Jalus is one of those idapas. <laughs> so, preparation for next week. Okay, Matt, next one. Matha Yafalu el Rajalu. Is Rajalu a name? Um, a Rajal means the man. Oh, the man. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what Albint meant? What's Albint? Uh, the girl. The girl. Yeah. The girl. Very good. Okay. So Matha Yafalu or Rajalu? Okay. Uh, Yasalu? Right? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yasalu or Rajalu? Afajra. Sorry. You sully. You sully. You sully. That's what I meant. You sully. El Rajalu. Afajra. Uh -huh. But probably not because it's night. Or where is he praying? Oh. Uh, Al Masjid. Oh, Fi Masjidi. Fi Masjidi. Very good. Masjid. Praying in the, in the Masjid. Okay, good. Okay, um, Kim, next one. Matha Tefalu Fatima Tu. She's watching TV. Matha Tefalu Fatima Tu. Start with the verb. Shahadu. Shahadu. Then the subject. Who are we talking about? Oh, um, Fatima. Uh huh. Fatima. Fatima. Uh huh. And what's she watching? El Tafaz. El Tafaz. Very good. Excellent. Okay, Matt. Matt El Tafalu Khadija too. Okay. Tafsalu. Tafsalu. Khadija too. Mm-hmm. Uh, Al Melandasa. Malabasa. Malabasa. Khadija to Al Malabasa. Very good. And Kim, the last one. Matha Yafalu Mohammedon. He's washing the dishes. Um. Uh, how do we say he got it? Um, Yaksalu, uh huh. And then who are we talking about? Mohandas, no, Mohammedan, Mohammedan. How do we say the dishes? Um. Here. Um. Oh, I'll, I'll. No, I'll, I'll. 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 I'
So, Yaxalu Muhammadun El Atbaka. El Atbaka. Very good. Okay, little exercise about telling time. We'll start with Matt. So, the example is I wake up early. And they're going to give you a time or a kind of time under each clock. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you just say, I wake up. And then with, and you're going to switch out that word or phrase. Mm -hmm. Tell me what it is. So start with the first one here. Mutaakharan. Mutaakharan. Start with Ustekadu Mutaakharan. Okay. Okay. Ustekadu Mutaakharan. 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 Uh huh. And tell me what it means. I have no idea. Ah, uh, it means I wake up late. Late. Good. Keep going. Uh, a stickadu, a saa, a sabia. I wake up mm -hmm. at seven o'clock. Very good. Next one. A stickadu, a saa, a hamasa. Uh -huh. I wake up at five o'clock. Very good. And the last one. A stickadu, a saa, a rabia. I wake up at four o'clock. Very good. Kim, do the same thing. I wake up late. Good. I wake up late. I wake up at seven o'clock. Uh huh. Uh, I wake up at five o'clock. Okay. I wake up at four o'clock. Excellent. Okay, now I'm going to ask you a question. Um, just a random question, and you're going to answer just any way you want, okay? <laughs> so we'll show you that. Matt in other words, in English? <laughs> Not in English. <laughs> we would like to answer in English. <laughs> okay. Uh, Matt, Matt, to stay with you. Where are we at? Oh, I see. No, she's yeah. answering them off the sheet. There. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm uh, just asking you. You can just do the answer. A stick do a saw a thamina. A thamina, very good. No, is it, yeah, eight o'clock. Uh -huh. Um, Aina to Selena El Fedra. That means when do you pray the Fajra? Uh, Not when. Aina where? to Selena El Fedra. Um, Um, How do you say I pray? I pray. Asali. Mm -hmm. Asali. Afajra. Mm -hmm. um, Phil Mastadi. Very good. Excellent. What if, just for fun, uh -huh. Because we're, we're not Muslim. <laughs> what if we wanted to say we don't pay the fajr? Would we say <laughs> we don't pay? Um, <laughs> la usali al fajr. La usali al fajr. Uh -huh. That's right. See, I, I'm just, I didn't mean to be offensive, but I wanted to know how to say we don't. So la usali. I don't. <laughs> okay, Matt. Right. How to now bada salah? Uh, how to name Baba Salah? What do you? 
What do we use now? Yes or no? Yeah, like a yes so do, or no. So do okay. you? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What's tenamu? Sleep? Uh huh. Do you sleep before asala? Not before. That's kapla. This is bada. After. Mm -hmm. Uh. I would say nam, anamu, mm -hmm. ada, asala. Asala, good, anam. Nam, anamu, bada, asala. A lot of people like, especially with the dawn prayer, um, they'll wake up, pray the dawn prayer, and then go back to sleep for a while. Because it can be like, you know, sometimes four or five in the morning. So it's kind of early. Okay, Kim. Badasala. Yeah, so I just don't think. Mazatafalina. Badasala. Mazatafalina. Badasala. Kim, can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I can't hear you. I don't know what you're saying to me. Right? So, like, I think we're having a technical problem. Nope. <laughs> <I'm here. laughs> uh, okay. First of all, what am I asking you? Matha Tafalina Bada Salah. Remember Matha? No. Okay, Matha, what? What? What about Tefalu? Or Tefalu? What do you, I think it's to do. What do uh -huh. you do? What do you what do, do after prayer? After prayer. Uh huh. What do you do after prayer? Can you say I go to school after the prayer? How do you say I go? Uh, to school. How do we say to? Preposition. I don't remember to. Ila. 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 Say the school. Al madras. Uh huh. Al madrasati. Madrasati. After prayer. How do we say after prayer? Oh, no. oh, Very good. We'll do one more. Matt, Meta Technisu El Gorpita. Meta. Is that when? When do you when do you vacuum the room? Uh huh. I do not vacuum the room. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, Kim vacuums the room. I should. Uh, uh, Aknesu. Alorfata. Uh huh. Uh, but can you say um, every day? Can you say every day? If I wanted to lie. No. Uh, 
Uh, no, I don't know how to say every day. But you okay, if you want to say every day, you say kulyom. 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 Uh-huh. Aknesu el horfata kulyom. Very good. <laughs> I need to go say some mantra because I like <laughs> <laughs> okay, we um, we'll stop it there, and we'll start next week with those um, with those questions. Okay, okay. okay. We can practice those. Okay. Any okay. questions about anything we did today? No, no, no. Nope. Okay, and next week we will be learning about idafa, and that will be out of um, Medina Arabic. So I will send you Medina Arabic chapter five. Okay, okay? okay. can you do that? Okay, right. Have a great week. Can you do that soon so I can go print it out? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay. My salama. Right. My salama.